Hello, hello there. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I forgot to put my hands on, so just a second. <laughs> hands. Equipped. Almost. There we go. Hands. <laughs> okay. Hello. Um... So there's a dragon up there. And I'm hoping that we can talk with that dragon. We might need to eat some peppers, but... Um, sure, let's just head here. Get some peppers real quick. Mm. Yeah, this will have to do. I think there's a flat surface there. I'm really hoping so. It's a flat enough surface, it looks like. So, goal for today... Um, I want to talk with this dragon, see um, what their deal is, and then I want to go on to Rito Village, um, help out the people there, do a little bit of exploring around, uh, possibly go for the Divine Beast today. I don't know exactly, but um, I'm just wanting to like experience the game, um, you know? <laughs> okay, Durgan, I'm here to talk with you. Okay, that looks like a Korok there. Ah, jeez. Please. No. Stop rolling away. Okay. Nine there. Okay, so this one, we just bring over here. And set it right here. <laughs> yeah, ha ha, you found me. Croc speed. Bye bye. Is it coming to right in this path? Hello. Can I land on you? Nope. Bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so dead. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look up these dragons real quick. Breath of the Wild Dragons. <laughs> like, what's going on with them? Incredibly huge and powerful dragons that mere mortals cannot harm. These dragons each serve the goddesses and are associated with each of the ancient springs. 
Oh. Hi there. Come here. Come here. You howl at me, and then you're running away from me? Okay, fine. still. I don't... Okay. I don't get the point of them. So we're leaving. the divine beast do I have that one marked I don't think I do no I do not okay uh, let's also eat a lot Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Looks like I could head over there. So let's do that. We'll kind of head this direction. So if we hit the mountain, then we're good. But if not, uh, we can, you know, climb up the slope down here. That's a skull cave. Okay, I was like, what's the big boulder for? It's raining, so we're not going to be able to climb super well. Or it was raining. <laughs> we drop here, partially because there's a Korok here. Choo-choo jelly. One. Two. 
three, this is a pentagram, four, five. This is the unholy Korok. <laughs> what did my hand do there? <laughs> I really want the hand stuff to work because, like, I'm very expressive, but, like, I don't know. There's some curse stuff coming from the hands. Leave me alone, dogs. Mm, I think this is a Bokoblin thing. Another rush room. I'll go ahead and grab it because I'm here. Rush rooms are okay. Interesting. Them becoming electrified. Makes it yellow choo choo jelly. That's interesting. Uh, that's a fairy fountain. Change to stamp. This is. I think that's the symbol I've been using. Um, what symbol did I use up here? Yeah, I used that there. Um, yeah, right there, I also want to put that. When you zoom in, I, I will give them credit. It does say Great Fairy Fountain, but, like, you can't see that out here. Like, if I'm looking for the Great Fairy Fountain, it's, it's not viewable. Uh, do I have the money? I... Looks like I have the money, actually, so... Maybe we go for that. Is... Is that Mario Pipe? Is that Mario Pipe off to the right? No, okay. So, I saw this. I saw the top of this here. And I was like, that looks like a Mario Pipe. <laughs> it was not. It does look, like, corked off somehow. Oh, this is a... bow and arrow one. No, this is a get over there one. Um, here. Let's restart this. Okay. We're going this way. There we go. Hello! Yaha! You found me! 
Bye bye. Okay. Um, shrine there. Let's go ahead and go to the shrine. To be honest, I don't see any reason not to go to the shrine. I mean, we're right here, so... Oh, memory. I didn't expect this to be memory. Nothing. Just as I thought. Hmm? It appears that this structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. But, but designs can always be worked around, at least I hope. How do I get inside? I need to activate it somehow. It's Link! I thought I made it clear that I am not in need of an escort. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. I, the person in question, am fine, regardless of the king's orders. Return to the castle. And tell that to my father, please. But Zelda... And stop following me. Tena Kosha Shrine. Kosha, not Kosha. <coughs> We're going down in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Major test of strength. Ah, oh, another one. How are my weapons? I think they're okay. Okay, and this one has pillars that we can use as well. This one will be easier than the other one that we got stuck on for a really long time. The tips have arrived. Appreciate. <laughs> yep. Too early? Too early? Okay, you're gonna spin. Rush. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> still, still working on timing, but um, hopefully I'll get it. 
easy to tell. Spear, easy to tell. Uh, and, and now that I know that I need to jump to the side. But, yeah. Um, again, let's switch to this real quick. I'm doing perfect dodges is like the strategy that I've been going for and I did other major tests of strength for don't know how that didn't trigger that, you know? Hmm. Is that a... I wonder if that's a sideways dodge that's supposed to happen. And is Perry done with the shield? It is. Okay. Oh, it is. It is a sideways dodge. I, I realized the uh, the delay. Uh, so the reason that I like going with the big weapon is just like the damage output. That <laughs> they have so much health. So that's why it's not activating. I'm supposed to be jumping to the side. Yeah, there we go. So once I know, like, which type of dodge I'm supposed to do, I can get the timing. Or, you know, at least not die. <laughs> okay. It bothers me a little bit that the flurry rush is, um, a little bit delayed. Doing that again, so we'll bring you over here. Is for everything? Good to know. bring you oh you're doing that um stop it i shouldn't have gotten that flurry rush off to be completely honest Well, uh, we're pretty early into the stream, like less than half an hour, but we're having a good time. 
Okay, we're gonna have to do a parry against the Guardian Laser here shortly. Yeah. Nope, not here. So... fun. Uh, I try to have it be fun around here, you know? <laughs> okay. Deflect time. Back up. Okay. Oh. Mm. Wrong thing. Okay. Uh, this can break it. No! Ah. Oh. I hate that the scouts can double charge where, like, the big guardians, which are supposed to be the scary ones, can... <sighs> like, they only single charge. Yeah. Like, I think I have the timing for the normal guardians down, but the guardian scouts, like, I don't know, the timing is different for them. Now, like, I was getting frustrated with these tests of strength fights because it was like, oh, I... You can interrupt the laser. Interesting. That is good to know. Too early. Way too early. You're spinning already? Okay. Also dodge it, yeah. But the parry does like a good amount of damage. Like normally ending off the fight with um, the parry feels pretty satisfying. Teleported behind me. Not teleported, but you know, they. They should have hit the thing. <laughs> Way too early. What's even going on? Also... No. Sometimes when I'm like, m moving, I press down on the control stick. And that causes me to sneak. That is not good. <laughs> um, I'm not using, like, an actual pro controller or anything. I'm using a third-party controller. And there's some software for rebinding stuff. I wonder if I could unbind the left stick click and then rebind it to, like, one of the back buttons. You can dodge it. Definitely more risky, though. Gotcha. Ah, shit. 
spiraling. <sighs> we are going to read to a village. I promise that. We just got distracted along the way. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was expecting to happen before, and... I don't know, it wasn't triggering? We're gonna continue. I'm gonna look for. We can actually teleport back here. Let's go make some defense food real quick so I can take a couple more hits. The defense food is nice. So. I know there's some in Gerudo Village. And I should cook some other types of food at the same time, since uh, with the defense, I'll be able to not take as much damage. Uh, clothes. I need to switch into this outfit. In the sand bolts. There we go. Oh, interesting. I can just, instead of paying for that, you can just sit here for a passing time. I should have been doing that. I, I wasted a bunch of rupees on that then. Um, okay. So, uh, movement speed. This is strength. Hmm. Do I actually not have the thing for defense? Attack power. Healing benefits. Silently. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I have. the stuff needed for that um <coughs> excuse me let's look at the compendium uh we're looking for this here defense up target with sensor I don't understand how to use this, honestly. Hmm. 
Okay. Um, sure, we'll take it. There are none nearby here. What's the description for this? Nothing special. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, D. Back out. <laughs> West Necludia, East Necludia. Necludia. Okay. Let's travel here, then. I'm wanting to protect up so that um, I can have a, a, an easier time protecting myself for uh, these fights. Going strategically instead of just bashing my head against the wall, you know? <laughs> Um, Um, I'm using the wrong thing. Nope. Okay. That isn't what I intended to do. Because this, it doesn't seem intuitive to me. <clears throat> um, select target. Link's direction is important. When Link points in the direction of the target, it will show a large reaction. You should move forward in that the d direction of the reaction. Direction of Link and not the direction of the camera. Okay.
Okay, in these trees. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh, how many of these iron mushrooms do I have? Uh, sort four. I think I'm wanting five. shield it's something So it seems to only activate when moving, which is part of why I was getting confused. I would stand still, try and position Link to understand, and that doesn't work. Now well, let's just use normal arrows. Oh, we got a chest for that. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that, to be honest. Uh, I will take this meat. Thank you very much. I'll leave the honey alone. Fire arrows. Very nice. Make some explosions, it's fine. Uh, stop climbing <laughs> over here. Okay,
Okay, so up this cliff? It's nice, but not perfect, you know? I should make more elixirs. Can you make like red and blue potions? I wonder if you can. Acorn. Excuse me? Ah, choo choo. Yiga clan. Um Okay. Um Okay, I think we're good actually. Um Let's head back to here because I know there's a cooking spot. And then we'll go back to try out the uh, major test of strength. Quick little 20 minute detour. <laughs> I still don't fully know how I feel about, um, oh, the main way to get rupees is just with selling things. Um, turn off Chica sensor. Uh, exit, there we go. How many orbs do I have? I have five. Let's go ahead and pray. Uh, another heart? I should get a heart container. Huzzah. I'm a menace. <laughs> Guardman, uh, or the princess's guardman, um, I don't know, he just started throwing all of our pots around. I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> okay. Um. Ooh. Do I need to get... Do I have any flint? I don't think I have any flint. So I actually can't start this fire. 
Okay. Um, we're teleporting down here. <laughs> I know that's like part of the loading animation basically, but gosh, I wish it was shorter. Yeah, this uh, Hillian Vi, uh, she just keeps jumping over the walls. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> seconds I forget if it lasts longer with meat raw gourmet meat raw prime meat let's try it with the gourmet meat Nah, it's long, like it lasts longer without. Okay. Um. Uh, and we add rice for it to be a meatball or, or a um, rice ball. Tough gourmet meat and rice bowl. Okay. Okay. So, I think we'll eat this before going into the shrine. Yes, yeah, so we're going back up here. Delete stamp. That lady was looking directly at me as I turned into a bunch of strands of energy. <laughs> I'm seeing game, like videos where people are like, can you beat the game without fast travel? And it's like, yeah, you could. But uh, that also doesn't sound super fun to me. <laughs> Okay, I want to wear this. I want to wear... I think this and this. And then... Let's equip this. Or maybe we just equip this to start with. Let's eat this. Save. So we're losing like 10 seconds for running in, but I think having it be before the save will save me as a human more time overall. <laughs> yeah, so we're five seconds shy. That's not too bad. Okay.
Ow. over to this okay too early there we go it has to start swinging When you need to click. <sighs> okay. All that prep for getting it on the first try. <laughs> I did only take half a heart of damage there, though. So that's pretty nice. Knight's Halberd. Um... Uh, probably this. <clears throat> I need to increase weapon count. Triumph over the test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin. <clears throat> okay. So, Fairy Fountain, Rito, uh, Rito Village. That is the order of things that we're going to be doing here. I have 1,110 rupees, so that should, maybe, hopefully... That should maybe be enough for the fairy fountain. Which was right over here. Okay, flying guardians. Where was it? I'm gonna fly over to here. This is another Korok here. I think I saw a pinwheel somewhere else, but... Um... Sure, let, let's do this. One more. I saw it. Ah. 
There we go. <laughs> I'm bad at hitting moving targets, apparently. Um, hey, that's Rito Village. And this fairy fountain's right next to the tower. Because it's right here. Mighty Thistle. Um, attack power. Can you wander back down? Please? I want the fairy. It's taunting me. <laughs> okay. I have one fairy, that's good enough. Boy, sweet boy, please. Listen to my story. Sure. I'm the great fairy uh, Keza. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. A thousand rupees? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, the power. It's overflowing. Hello. So you're the one who brought me back from the brink. Oh my, I see now that my first impression of you was correct. You are most definitely, you most definitely are pleasant to look at. How would you like to live here with me, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, but you certainly are cute when you're blushing. <laughs> I really can't thank you enough, boy, but that won't stop me from trying. If you have the materials needed to enhance a piece of clothing, I will uh, I will enhance your clothing. Uh, so why don't you let me take a peek of that little pouch of yours? Uh. With the power available to me, I can greatly enhance your clothing. Enhance away. Only this. Interesting. Hmm. Hightail lizards. I can farm those in Gerudo Village. Electric keys. I can also fight those. I don't really like them, but I can do that. Oh! Interesting. So maybe run even faster? That'd be kind of nice. Uh, let's go ahead and enhance these. Mm. 
enhance away. Hmm. Uh. This is easy enough to enhance, so I might as well do it. Your defense by two levels. Enhance away. Level three. <laughs> Kissy kissy. <laughs> Do you have any other clothes uh, I can enhance right now? You don't have any other clothes I could enhance right now. Okay. I don't think that fairy is going to make its way down. I'm going to go. Let's change some clothes midair. I think I both climb faster and use less energy. But I'm still upset that jumping doesn't, like, have the cost reduced. Um... That is a cooking spot. I don't need it right now. But it is a cooking spot. <clears throat> I definitely want to mark those down because of Spikes Boko Spear. Alrighty. Amber, I'll take that. Doesn't seem that bad to climb this. Uh, but maybe I should climb that spot over there. any eyes around here so this is gonna just stay all gooed up um I, 
can just climb through real quick. Oh, I see it. Oh, okay. That was easier than I expected. I pushed that more than I should have. Okay. Sheikah Tower activated. Regional map extracted. Okay. So. Now we do our usual process of identifying each and every shrine. Uh, that one is already marked. Um, that looks like a shrine. So I'm going to turn that mark to one for now. That looks like an interesting spot. So I'll go ahead and um, mark that with adventure. Um, fairy fountain. I think we've marked this one. I uh, yes. Um Okay. I've seen all I need to see. Let's fly on over. ranch over here um that is a shrine let's head over to the horse ranch Do I have a picture of spicy peppers for the compendium? Um, no, I do not. Um, 
Yeah, so next time I see them, I should take a picture. Hmm. I thought I saw something there. We haven't seen Muffin in a little bit, so it'll be good to see Muffin again. Rito Stable. Cass. Ah, we meet again. I'm glad to see you in one piece. We're actually very close to my hometown of Rito Village, and I must admit I'm feeling incredibly homesick. I had to leave my wife and children back in the village. I'm sure they're doing just fine. But you see, I cannot go home until I fulfill my promise to my teacher. Promise? My promise to... On second thought, now is not the time. But if I'm able to learn all of the ancient songs, I will tell you of my promise back in my hometown. But let's... Uh, listen to me blathering on. I need to focus on my craft. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Let's hear it. Excellent. Without further ado. The kingdom of Hyrule is a vast and storied land, oft grasped in the palm of villainous hand. A dark force of destruction many times undone, Rises once again, Ganon, the Calamitous One. But hope survives in Hyrule, for all is not lost. Two brave souls protect it, no matter the cost. A goddess blood princess and a fearless knight, they appear in each age to fight the good fight. Their battle with Ganon, I've committed to song, to keep it through time, no matter how long. Now begins the second verse. Listen, and you'll know of their battle with Ganon 10,000 years ago. The kingdom of Hyrule was once a land of lasting peace, a culture of such strength and wit, wit that suffering did cease. But Ganon lurked beneath the surface, strengthening its jaw, so the ancient people of Hyrule set out to help the cause. Their efforts bore fruit in an automated force to help avert calamity by sealing it at its source. Four giant behemoths for which power never ceased, each of these titans was called a divine beast. A free and free-willed machines that hunted down their prey, these guardians were built to last so they could join the fray. To guide the beasts in battle, warriors were needed, so four champions pledged to see Ganon defeated. Divine beasts, guardians, princess, and knight, their plan to rout Ganon was looking airtight. Rout? Is that the right word? <laughs> And when Calamity Ganon reared its head, Hyrule rose against it. The optimism of Hyrule all the more incensed it. Uh, Ganon raged in its assault, boiling with hate. It gnashed its teeth and thrashed about, but it was all too late. The Guardians kept the heroes safe through every hour. The Divine Beast unleashed attacks that weakened Ganon's power. The hero with the Sealing Sword struck the final blow, and the holy power of the princess sealed Ganon so. And that is the story of the brazen attack on Calamity Ganon 10,000 years back.
Thank you for listening. Uh, please come back and hear it again sometime. Thank you, Cass. My guy, you're here to do the thing, right? That's right. Huh? You actually understood what I'm saying? You got some sort of sidekick powers or something? Well, look who it is. So you're doing that thing, right? You know what I'm talking about. The thing? You know, the thing. Climbing the snowy mountains. I was confident I could handle the cold, so I didn't wear anything special, but the Hibra Mountains are really cold. Like, seriously cold. Cold enough to send you to your grave, I'd say. So be careful out there, yeah? Okay. The thing about me is I just can't get enough spice in my life. Spicy. I need that burny tingle. I need curry rice. Now I need Hillian rice on hand, which I need to make curry rice, but I'm fresh out of Goron spice. Just can't run off and leave the stable. Uh, Goron spice, sure. Uh, take horse. Muffin. Need to find Muffin. Okay. Hi, Muffin! It's been a while. Um, there's that tower there. Change stamp to this for exploration. Ooh, new shrine. Uh, nope, that is same shrine. But good to confirm that that is there. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, these are the berries. Um, okay. Camera? Save? Good day. Did you need something? Who are you? I am Gisane of the Rito. The Rito? Yes. The Rito of Lake Totori, uh, where the men are fine archers and the women better singers. You being a Hillian, I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you get a chance. Well, I'm uh, on my way. I'm assuming these are the Hebrew Mountains, right? Hebrew Plunge, yeah. Uh, horse! Where were you going? <laughs> Your horse will follow the path. Mine did not there. the monster thing off to the side. Bird. Okay, so how's this one terrorizing the village, you know?
potentially going to cause harm to their way of life. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh. There's a framey mess there. It's better now, but gosh. Oh, this is a guardian stat. Uh, a, a, yeah. Whatever. The, the statue thing. Um, should I be marking these? I could probably mark these. Yeah, do something like that. Hey, evening. Fison. So, have you seen it? Divine Beast Va Meadow. I saw it. Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it. But I have bigger problems. My mom is so annoying. She asks me to help out at the store every single day. Can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Alrighty. Rito down bed. Um... Down there? Really? There? Oh, it's up there. Okay. <laughs> uh. Shop. Arrows? I'll take arrows. Whenever I see arrows, I take arrows. Goat butter. Ooh, that's helpful. Cane sugar? So both of you made the same sound. Howdy, Hook. I mean, hey. We were just talking about the beast in the sky. So the beast was actually something the old village champion, Reveille, rode to protect us back in the day. In other words, the beast in the sky used to be an ally of ours. Can you believe it? Hey, I was just about to tell him that. Whatever! You're just copying what the Elder said anyway. <laughs> the, they're so charged and energized to go. Um. Cold resistance. Snow quill tunic. Interesting. Might maybe need that, but I'm very poor. <laughs> All the kids are asleep there. Cooking spot. Hello. Um, I usually cook for myself. I hope that wasn't too personal a question. When I cook dinner for my daughters, I sometimes wonder what the future holds for this village, for my family. My thoughts tend to grow a bit dark then, but they lighten as soon as I satisfy my hunger. So go ahead and use the pot. My stum my a full stomach will do you well. Um yes. So I will mark this with a pot. Ooh, a jumping spot. That's cool. We have our fast travel available to us now. Let's see what this shrine is about. Normally these ones are puzzles when they're like directly in the village, so I'm hoping for a good puzzle time. Yes, okay. Wind. Um... That was weird.
Okay. That's like the easiest chest chest I've ever gotten. Ancient core. Oh my goodness. That's really good. Okay. Okay. So I'm assuming I want to get all of these spinning, right? Okay, so those three are already on. So we probably want to do... I'll just hit it with this. Yeah. Okay, I actually think that this needs to go this way. And to get these, the only one that's in line for that one is this, so we have to do this. So the only way to get these ones is to flip this back over here. And then the only way to get that one to do this here. Um. And then this one is here. There. And then. Yeah, these are still lit. There we go. No? Yes, okay. Took a second. <laughs> And just a little, boop. just a little. Boop. <laughs> Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. I like that puzzle. That was a fun puzzle. What I li like, part of what I liked is there was like a kernel of truth to work from. And then you spread out from there. So kernel of truth spread out and like it just kind of worked around in a circle. I started working around in a circle from what I thought was true. But then I came across like, oh, this one's impossible to get both of these. So, yeah. Another flight spot. So that's cool. Um, let's remove this stamp. Just a little bit of decoration, flavor over here. You okay? Ugh, welcome. Ow, what's the matter? No offense, but this is not your concern. That cursed monster. Hmm. Favorite among Rito warriors. The bowstring has been specially engineered for aerial combat, which allows it to be drawn faster than a normal bow. Hey, I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Take it. Not like I can use it in my condition. Sorry about that. Ooh. 
So a bunch of jump off points there. Wait, do I have enough? I have three. Can I help you? What's wrong? Never mind. Forget it. She's watching over him. Big bird. Owl, in fact. So you are the wise elder. Hmm. Ah, a visitor. Welcome to... Oh, oh! The object on your hip. Could it be? Forgive me, where are my manners? I am Kneli, elder of the Rito village. Now then, is that not a chic slate dangling from your hip? That's right. Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master Ravali, one of the few able to board the divine beast Va Meadow. No, what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Ah, forgive me. Champion descendant. If you would listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. I'll listen. Thank you, truly. Big belly laugh. Now that, I, uh, now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with Divine Beast Va Meadow, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a Divine Beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried something like this. Uh, I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Teba and Harth tried to confront Meadow, but it did not go well, and Harth was injured. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Meadow alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please, find Teba. Uh, if you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Va Meadow. Okay. Saki might know where he is. Okay. Hello. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband, Teba, in the fight against Meadow. But to tell you the truth, there is not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband is. went. Where did he go? Well, my husband headed to a place called the Flight Range. It is in Dronox Pass at the base of Hebra's Mountains. It's a place where Rito warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Meadow. If it happens, he made uh, his way to the flight range on foot this time. As it happens, he made his way to the flight, flight range on foot this time. If you take off from Rivali's landing, landing, it's a straight shot down to the flight range. Ravali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion Ravali. So named is uh, so named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. It's a memory spot as well. <laughs> So the landing existed, but it got renamed. <laughs> Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterful masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily disperse with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems I have been tapped to merely assist you, all because you happen to have that little darkness-sealing sword on your back. I mean, it's just 
asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong. Maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness. Revali's a little bit stuck up with himself, isn't he? Descendant. Descendant, are you all right? My apologies. I fear I have said far too much. If there's anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, over here. Okay. Uh, we'll probably stop off at the shrine on the way then. Uh, you got hurt. I'm guessing you caught wind of that monster circling around our village. Suppose I should get you up to speed on what went down. Please do. Here goes. You see this wound here on my wing? I got shot by that thing in the sky, Divine Beast Va Meadow. Legend has it that monster was once the protector of this village. But these days, those days are long gone. As soon as Teba and I approached the thing, it just shot us out of nowhere. We tried to fight back, but I was too slow and got hit. Thankfully, Teba caught me while I was falling from the sky. We had no choice but to retreat. When I think about it, about what would have happened had Teba not been there, it still gives me the bumps. So you planning to go find Teba? I will tell you everything I know. Uh, who's Meadow? Divine Beast Fa Meadow. Don't believe it myself, but some say it used to protect our village before disappearing a hundred years ago. Teba and I got to wondering about it, and when we went to investigate, it just opened fire on us, hence the injury. But as soon as I recover, I plan to fly up uh, with a whole mess of bomb arrows and blow its cannons to bits. Uh, who's Teba? Him and I go way back. As far as flying goes, he is undoubtedly the best in the village. His only downside is that he's reckless and has a bit of a temper. And he can be rude. But we look out for each other. Uh, but the way he was talking and saying that he was going to blow Meadow out of the sky... He wants to go back up there, alone, which is absolutely insane. What kind of moron with a wife and a kid does that? Anything else you want to know? You are... I'm Hearth. Bowcraft is my trait. My boyhood dream was to be a warrior, but I gave that up once it came time to inherit my family's business. My daughter, Molly, is around the same age as Teba's kid, Tulin, so our families spend a lot of time together. Hold on. Is any of this helpful at all? Uh, I think it's helpful. I want to know about the people here. Help Teba for me. Will do. Okay. Straight shot over here. Okay. I should have done the shield jump for a little bit more height. That's something I need to get into, like, my repertoire, you know? Uh, switch clothes. It's cold, but not horribly cold, so this should do good enough. No? Okay. Get into the temple. I wonder if there's a way to get snow boots again. Chawarvo Shrine.
Path of Hidden Winds. Wrong, wrong type of weapon. Please. Oh, okay. Purple rupee. I'll gladly take it. Um, let's switch to this one. First, like, vertical shrine that I've seen. Um. Ah. Weird. Not really a puzzle, just, hey, ride the air currents. Sure, I guess. I'll do that. <laughs> Resourcefulness as a hero. May the goddess smile upon you. Skilled enough to get a hit, to hit it with an arrow receives a handsome reward. Okay. So I should be shooting arrows at the rabbit. Another cooking spot here. Cook. Arrow. Arrow. Oh. Yeah. Teba. I don't know you, and I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Did you need something? I'm busy here. I can help you. Help me? With what exactly? Va Meadow. Let me get this straight. Some random Hillian wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Va Meadow. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Teba, but you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me, am I right? That's right. Just like the Elder to trust any fool wandering into town. Look, you seem like an all right guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rito warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village, and that is... Once Divine Beast Va Meadow falls from the sky? If I have to kill Meadow, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. Then let's get started. Are you serious? Huh. Uh, well, far be it from me to talk you off the ledge. But it's as the Elder said, the only way to stop Divine Beast Va Meadow is to get inside it. Fat chance of that happening, there's no way we can set foot in Meadow. Actually, so not only are you wingless, 
You're brainless, too. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter the Divine Beasts are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for us, and the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. Actually, <laughs> if it hadn't been for Ganon, never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Meadow, one step at a time. If we approach Meadow recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we even get close. So I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. Uh, we warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. Updrafts are so strong here that a person could just uh, open up a cloth over their head and float up easily. Um. Never mind. I need. Um. I need to cook some peppers. <laughs> Nope. Okay. 12 minutes, 30 seconds, but I'm also going to cook several... <sighs> Shit. Cook several one pepper batches. Let's hold two because this is a three minute timer for the event. Yeah, so five minutes will be enough for that. But just being able to pop one at a time, I think, is good. It makes it hell for like sorting through inventory, but I think it's better than not having it, you know? I like how we take one pepper, throw it down, and then when it cooks, it's like, here's a stack of peppers. <laughs> Show me what you're made of. I'm ready. Five targets with your arrows. Okay. Two, one. was really easy shoot five targets shoot five of them within three minutes i did it within 15 seconds you're a skilled archer it was as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly uh indeed that is what happened i've got to tell you link when you first showed up i thought someone was pulling a prank on me but after seeing you handle that bow i can tell you're the real deal you must have seen a battle or two hundreds of them I believe it. Link, I feel I've heard that name somewhere before. Yeah, one of the champions of old. <laughs> well, if you really want to help me bring down Meadow, it's now or never. Uh, I'll get you into position so you can give its cannons all you've got. 
Inside that treasure chest is a bow I've modified. Take it and let me know when you're ready. Falcon bow. Uh, okay. Inventory is full. So let's... Mm. Let's drop this one. Let's go. But take these bomb arrows. Precious commodity. Okay. Also, it's cold up there. Um. I'm ready. Let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Why risk your life bringing down Meadow? Uh, to rescue Zelda. Zelda? That's the name of the princess Rivali served a hundred years ago at Hyrule Castle. I don't know what she has to do with the divine beast Va Meadow, but whatever. As long as you're helping me bring down Meadow, your motivation is fine by me. Right. Get on. Let's do it. If I had known that I definitely was going to face against um, the Divine Beast, I probably would have put that in the thumbnail, but, you know, whatever. Alright, it's showtime. Showtime. <laughs> Man, even I feel like I'm going to freeze up here. Here's Divine Beast Bomb Meadow. So it has some sort of barrier. Interesting. It has its barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk? Let's go over the plan. You see those cannons? I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the can cannons. Got it? Uh, if you need to withdraw for a bit, spread your cloth and float straight up in the up updraft for a while. I'll take that as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by Meadow's Barrier. It's impenetrable. And whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, I know I've said this a few times, but don't forget your cold protection. Let's go. Here we go. Out of the way! Um, it's targeting us. It definitely is. Ooh. Ooh. Watch out. Watch out. Okay, this one's pretty straightforward. It's just, hey, hit the four points of interest. We did it. We did it. We did it.
Well done, Link. We did it. That thing is history. Go ahead and land on it, Link. Did Teva suddenly get tired? Oh, yep. Bad news, Link. Looks like I got hit pretty good back there. Think I need to get back to the flight range. I just hope that I can make it back. You head down to Meadow. Good luck. Teba, it's all you. Thumbs up! <laughs> Teba! <laughs> Okay. I wonder how Rivali's grace is going to work, you know? For getting the boost up into the air. Travel gate registered to map. Well now. I've seen that face before. Hello, Ravali. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making you wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. Yeah, Ravali is a uh, bit of a... Is snooty the right word? A bit stuck up, a bit like... I don't know. Like... Yeah. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? Yep. If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. Mm-hmm. Up at the head. Cool. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? I can. Uh, let's also switch to, like, a more simple bow. Um, this is mag- nope, that one's not mag- You know what? I bet this is going to be a tilting thing. Ah, I was looking away. weapons can you make it there yeah, yeah I have to jump over uh, one gap and fight one small guardian scout yeah no issue <laughs> can you make it there Okay. Tilt and back. Okay. You'll need to look closely at your map of the divine beast. Mm-hmm. 
The terminals that will activate metal are marked by those glowing points. Wow, this is like my You'll third need one. You to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Yep, I know that. Think you're up to it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so five of them. Okay, so this says... Okay. So as I thought, yes, this is a tilting puzzle. So We're going to tilt this way. I can start to tilt it the other way. Um, excuse me, game. There we go. Uh, let's switch back to flat. As much as possible, I want to have the bird be flat, you know? Ancient core, hell yeah. Um, sure, we'll head down here. Bomb arrows, cool. This looks like some sort of arena down here. Oh, another chest. Cool. Um, more food. Let's, um, do I want to just do the 12 minute? Let, let's, let's not be fussed about like needing to constantly re-up. Let's, let's just get the big one. Um, okay. So that's kind of like a gondola there. That's kind of interesting. I don't like how the bow zooms in so much. Taking a once over of the outside uh, edges. Ooh, okay. Just to make sure I don't miss any chests and stuff, you know? Over here, please. Somewhat terrifying. Okay. Um, and then we tilt the other way. Cool. 
Only four more gates to go. There are four terminals remaining. There are four terminals remaining. Um, up there, okay. No, ah. There's the eye. Thank you for the chest. Ice arrows, cool. Interesting, okay. So, we want, we want to tilt the other way. Because that needs to go slamming into that, I'm assuming. Oh, shit. Um. Okay, that needs to... Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it. Um, I need to hold that one over here with the magnesis thing. Or maybe even stasis. Let's do this. Nice. Cool puzzle. I like that one. There are three terminals. There are three terminals remaining. Link, Link, did you realize that there are three terminals remaining? missing? I think the gondola is missing. Okay. So we're gonna have to figure out this sliding puzzle then. Um. Okay. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay. Oh.
Okay. Oh. Um. I need to tilt this the other way. I think we tilt it back. It'll just kind of work its way through how it's supposed to. Hopefully, maybe. Link's legs are all vibrating. Squanch. Why'd I say that? Squish is what I was trying to say. <sighs> Brain is tired. I woke up very tired this morning. Terminals remaining. Two terminals. There. You're almost there. I I can't believe it. I'm just absolutely gobsmacked. Ooh. Okay. That one's interesting. If we're tilted the other way, though. How do I get that chest up high, though? Right? Just one terminal remaining. <laughs> what do you know? What do you know? Okay, how do I get that chest? Oh, that's how. Um, we tilt the other way. Perspective! Knight's Claymore. Um, let's drop the current Knight's Claymore that I've been using. This one. Because that will have taken some damage, and then this is the new one, right? New and improved! Nope, not there. And I bet this one's just glide over while we're tilted like this.
No. From there? I guess so. Let's see. Yep, the wind helps. Okay. This one's probably the easiest Divine Beast so far. I, I still like the puzzles. Um, uh, th this one's better than Vanaburus, in my opinion. But it was easier than Vanaburus. Now you just need to start the main control unit. The main control unit? I want unit. you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Yep, it's almost yeah. like I've done this twice before. Uh, flap to it. Flap to it. Gotta check for any chests up here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this out. What type of blight do you think this is going to be? Ooh, actually. Um, let's head up here. I bet there's something at the nose, which is why I'm doing this. Um... We will tilt this way. Yep, I see it there. Yeah, good enough. Giant ancient core. Cores this large are extremely rare to find. Research would probably know how to use this. Um, probably down here is the safer bet. Okay. Let's flatten out. And then interact with this. Let's do this. Link, why are you so surprised? This is like the third time. <laughs> is this like Frost Blight Ganon or something? Or Wind Blight? This is probably Wind Blight. Yep. Whoa, oh, oh. Good luck. That 
thing is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. You defeated dirty. me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually saying this. But you must avenge me, Link. You must avenge me. His aim is dead on. Watch yourself. That was a torch. Wowee. Let me target him. Okay. Uh, tornado. Wow. Oh, I'm supposed to be tilting. Uh, nope, I am not. I cannot control this right now. Yep. Am I supposed to be hitting him from above? No. No. Ow. Tiny ledge here. No, okay. Ow, shit. Go ahead and eat this, but then we'll have to immediately eat this. Ow. Nope. I'm dead. Okay. Uh, no, not really. Okay, that's that phase over. Um... These? 
No. Ah! No. Um, stasis maybe. this we eat this ah! what the fuck is that <laughs> Be wise. You can use the columns to shield yourself. Wow. Okay. I don't know what I was like technically supposed to do there. I was just like, okay, let's just wail on him. <laughs> and it worked. I brute forced that fight for sure, though. I, I did not do like the smart decision for the fight. I used like 30 bomb <laughs> arrows. You are gone. You are done for. Boom. Okay. Va Meadow. Breath of the Wild. Uh, I'm going to look at a walkthrough for making sure I didn't miss any chests. One, two, highlight all. Okay, I think I got them all. I might have missed one, but I think I got them all. Oh. Yes, let's activate it. No, Crystal, no, you missed the most important one. 
I'm sorry. I I looked at the walkthrough, just sort of skimmed through it, and it's like, I think I got it. <laughs> I might not have, but I felt like I explored it pretty thoroughly, you know. Well, I'll be plucked. You defeated him, huh? Who would have thought? Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's uh, Gale. There we go. <laughs> I'm floating! Whee! It is now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow's strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Feel free to thank me now. Oh, never mind. Just go. Your, jar of, your job is far from finished, you know. Mm -hmm. The princess has been waiting an awful long time. Yeah, she has. So I wish, instead of having them talk inside of the Divine Beast, those cutscenes had been voiced over. Because I felt that would have been more impactful, you know? Like, oh, here's like this tender moment or whatever. Going to perch, actually. Oh, just mounting there at the top of the city. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Firing all lasers, go! <laughs> Meadow's sights are now set. You'll have a precise beam on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few, uh, suffer further over a few more moments. I misread that. You'll suffer further over a few more moments. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. Guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. How lucky he would be. I hope that luck holds out, Link. <laughs> uh... So full of himself still. Not, oh, he, he's good enough. No, no, he's lucky. <laughs> Activate by charging up jump with X. Okay. Yep, directly above us. It's a pretty nice jump, honestly. Ah! You have done it, and you survived it, that. You conquered Divine Beast Von Meadow. To think the beast has taken up roost, 
uh, at top of the village. It looks simply divine. If the legends are true, the light from the divine beasts will ravage the calamity. For now, divine beast Va Meadow will become the protector of this village and live on in legend. Alongside you. Hoo hoo hoo. Oh yes, of course. I must reward you properly. Feel free to take what you find in that treasure chest. You will get more use out of it than I. What you did was miraculous, though I should expect nothing less of one from the bloodline of a champion. Why, you are almost the equal of the very Hylian champion who fought with Master Reveille a hundred years ago. All you lack is the sword that seals the darkness. Everyone keeps mentioning the sword that seals the darkness, so I should get the sword that seals the darkness. Uh, they say the Hylian champion wielded the sword that seals the darkness that now sleeps in the Lost Woods. Great Eagle Bow. Uh, without equal, wielded by the Rito champion Ravali. Uh, it is said Ravali could loose arrows with the speed of a gale, making him supreme in aerial combat. Um, let's drop let's drop this one okay you do know i'm link right how's meadow who's or did it say how or who's Okay. Um, let's go up here. I just want to see what's up here. Kitten, uh, Chuckle Nugget. Hello. Welcome. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Also, uh, when I refer to you, should it just be, uh... Kitten should it be a nugget or or chuckle nugget or like how 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 do you want to be referred to? Like if if I was to shorten it, or should I be saying the full name every time? Hello, divine beast up here. Okay, so I think. Here, from this vantage point, let's look for some more shrines. I don't think there's many more, though. Full name is fine. Okay, I will do that. I always like to ask that to... Um, wait, what was that popping? Huh. We should fly down there, I think. Um... I always like to ask that just to make sure, you know, that um, I'm addressing people how they would best like, you know? You want an apple there, so I will give an apple. Hello, Korok. Yaha, you found me! Bye bye Well, be prepared for remote bomb. Luminous stone. Did we get any flint? No, I don't think so. Flint. Nice. And another luminous stone. Okay. Uh, and we'll grab both these apples. One was mine to begin with, you know? Uh, okay. So, what are we to do now? That is another shrine. I... Don't think I marked this one yet. Um, hmm. Nothing down below, really. 
This spot looks interesting, so I kind of want to explore this. Okay. Um, here's what we'll do. We'll go over to the front of the village. Okay, got that mark spot marked. Let's head over to where uh, Muffin is at, and then we can ride around town. Oh my goodness, it, it's really choppy when things first load up. Warm garb here. That's good to hear. But uh, I don't have any money. I want to talk with... Uh, Nope, not that. that. <laughs> Pillar in the sky. Going on vacation. Okay. Hey there. You got the great eagle bow from the elder, right? If you break or lose the great eagle bow, I can make a new one for you. Oh, cool. But you need to bring me a swallow bow... Five bundles of wood and a diamond. Swallow bow. Five bundles of wood and a diamond. That's pretty cool, honestly. <clears throat> where did you go? Keel, where are you? Can't find Keel anywhere. Where could she be? Maybe she went to Warbler's Nest to practice her singing. That. Could she have made it there on her own? Oh, I'm so worried. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're almost there. Over here, we're gonna jump on up. <laughs> Warbler's nest. Grr. My sisters are dumb dummies. They promised we'd rehearse together, but no one showed up. We have to perform our song for the elder at Warbler's nest. We're gonna be laughed off the stage. Hey you, you look like I can use you. <laughs> Let's say you look like a nice guy who likes to help people in need. That's true. Can you tell my sisters in Rito Village to stop ditching rehearsal? They won't listen to me, but they might listen to a scary looking Hillian like you. Although Genli might be a tough sell, she's probably in the kitchen yelling. I want some salmon, uh, Meunier? Or something like that. She doesn't want to sing either. She's such a pain. Okay. Um. All right. So let's go back over here. Ba -bum, boom boom boom. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, that's the cold music. Um. Okay. Kitchen. Which one is the kitchen? 
Want me to tell you a story? I love stories. Awesome, me too. Ahem. Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain and stopped at a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain and looked below him to the northwest. And suddenly he saw a huge snow white birdie with its wings spread wide. Uh, my grandpa took off flying after the snow white birdie. And as he uh, got a little closer to the white birdie, grandpa saw something super important inside its belly. The birdie had swallowed, well, what was it? I always get sleepy around that part of the story, so I don't remember. Oh, I know where the big tree is, though. Over there, you see it? A big tree. Snow White birdie from that tree. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now, what did the Snow White birdie swallow? Can't remember the story from Grandpa anymore. Uh, okay, so it's that change to a stamp of this. I'm actually going to do that so that I know it's related to a shrine quest. Um... Hello, you. Hurry, hurry. I need Sam and uh, Munier in my belly. No, Kiel wants me to practice singing with her, but I just can't. Left to get the ingredients. <clears throat> I told them I wouldn't sing until I get it. I didn't expect them to actually make it for me, though. I don't want to practice sing singing. I really do want some yummy Sam and Munier. Just going to the Slippery Falcon. What the fuck is the Slippery fa Falcon? Um... Uh... Slippery Falcon. Oh, okay, that's that's the name of the store. Okay. Uh, not this. Slippery Falcon, okay. Welcome. Hello, kid. Yeah, yeah, I get I bought some goat butter. Huh? Rehearsal? Oh yeah, I forgot. If I give you this goat butter, will you make the salmon uh minier for uh Genli? She should be in the kitchen. She said she won't sing until she's eat, uh, until she has eaten. Um, our older sister Knotts is probably practicing her song somewhere up high. Left to catch some hearty salmon, fishing at the pond near the entrance to the village. Okay. So somewhere up high. Well, let's start from up here. And then the other one's the pond near the entrance to the village. There's a little gap here. Mm, oh. Well, hello there. Um, sure, let's use this one. Yeah, ha, you found me. I really need to get to the Lost Woods for the Korok stuff. 
Somewhere up high. There. La la lulu la la. La 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 lulu. La 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 la. <laughs> I call that song Return to the Bird Wrangling Hero. First movement. Thank you for listening. What? Singing rehearsal at Warbler's Nest? I didn't forget. It's just that Genli really wanted some uh, salmon meunier, so my sisters and I have been looking for ingredients. I finished early, so I was practicing here to kill time. Uh, I feel bad we left the keel waiting, though. I really should head over to rehearsal. Well then, I guess I'll give you the uh, Tabantha wheat to you. Uh, wow, I skipped past that. Uh, please... Make sure to make the make the best uh, salmon meunier for uh, Genli. Uh, she says she can't sing on an empty stomach, but I'm pretty sure that's just an excuse. Well, good luck. Uh, and then the other one is over at the pond by the entrance to the village. I'm assuming that's here? Here-ish. Oh my goodness, the frames! The frames! <laughs> oh. It's chugging, oh my goodness. This pond? At the pond near the entrance to the village. Oh my goodness, it's so rough. Uh. <laughs> It's just too much trying to be loaded all at once here. Hi, Muffin. Thank you for being patient and just sitting here. Ugh. The frames. because it's like vertically stacked instead of like a horizontal sprawl like the other cities are I'm almost certain that's why so like more things are getting loaded in all at once near the entrance to our village. Is it there? Did I just go too far twice? <laughs> There you are, okay. Hiya, hiya, I'm fishing for a hearty salmon, huh? What are you doing here? What, rehearsal? Ah, I totally forgot. I was too focused on catching these fish. Neil's gonna, uh, Keel's going to kill me. Please take this hearty salmon and go make some salmon meunier for Genli. Hopefully she'll feel like singing after she has some.
Kid, you aren't doing too good. <laughs> um, just to check. No, okay. No chest in the water. Um, let's use the updraft somewhere over here. Uh, actually, I think I have enough. I do. Okay. Uh, let's get more stamina. Nope. Uh, no. Stamina. I wonder how long that takes to recharge. I don't think it really describes that. Hello. Nope. Hurry, hurry. Um, so I'm assuming it's just the ingredients I got. Fish, uh, the wheat, and goat butter. But I want to double check that. Salmon, uh, near Breath of the Wild. It is hearty salmon with the tobacco wheat and goat butter. Okay, so we take, here, let's sort. So we have uh, the wheat, cold. We have one goat butter somewhere. Goat butter, hearty salmon. Hearty Salmon uh, Mounier uh, restores your hearts and temporarily increases your maximum hearts. The crispy skin of this fried hearty salmon puts it put its texture in a class all its own. Hurry, hurry. That amazing smell. Could it be? So, the Salmon Mounier? You're going to let me have some, right? Right? Yes. Here you go. Yay! Time to dig in. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch. Mmm, <laughs> I'm stuffed. Huh? I promised to my sisters. I suppose I shouldn't break my promise. I really do like singing, but I'm too nervous to sing in front of other people. I have serious stage fright, but maybe practicing with my sisters will help me feel more comfortable. Yeah! Anyway, thank you for the amazing salmon, uh, salmon mounier. Uh, it was so soft and flaky and delicious. I'll give this rehearsal my all. Come listen later. Yeah. Okay. And so that spot is over here. Ah, it's the blood moon. You know what? I'm going to sit until morning. <laughs> Don't show me the Blood Moon cutscene. Don't don't you do it. No. <sighs> the Blood Moon rises once again. Please be 
Skip. Okay. There is a way to skip it. It's just not the normal skip button. It's a little bit disappointing that, like, sitting through, like, you know, resting doesn't make it so that you can, uh, these abilities, top left, that, that, that's what I'm talk, trying to talk about. Uh, the, like, resting doesn't do anything. You found Keel? So she's at Warbler's Nest after all. Whew. She really had me worried. Thank you for letting me know. Please take this for your trouble. Purple Rupee. I'll take it. I feel much better uh, now that I know where she is. Thank you. Shield jumps. I should be doing shield jumps. Really need to remember to do that. Singing is making me hungry. <laughs> so four, five, three, one, two. Um, four, five, three, one, two, nothing. There's a missing rock there. Um, I'm gonna mark this as a Korok so I don't forget it. Um, do I use explosives? Nope. Do I hit it? Nope. Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> um, how do I activate these? <laughs> So maybe it's two to start with, if I had it backwards. Um, seems I had it. Well, I can't even say that. Um, what does the quest say? <laughs> Heal. Thank you so much. All my sisters are here. Now we can rehearse here at Warblue's Nest. Want to know what song we're singing? Well, the Elder told me 
There's a song passed down in the Rito village that once sung at Warbler's Nest in ancient times. If you don't know, Warbler's Nest is the big stone uh, platform with the pillars behind us. The lyrics don't make a lot of sense, but there's one line in particular that always catches my ear. When wind convinces the rocks to sing, open the monk's door, uh, will sing, swing. What do you think that means? What's a monk? Oh, and I almost forgot. Got you a little something. Just a small thanks for bringing all my sisters here. A korok leaf. Ta-da! A korok leaf. Why don't you swing it in the direction of Warbler's Nest? It'll make a fun noise. Four, five, three, two, one. Uh, I'm going to use this one in case it causes it to break. Uh, so... Four. Five. Three. Two. And one. No, I did that wrong. Five, four, three, one, two. Five, four. Rivali's Gale is yeah. now ready. Four. Five. Three, one, two. We did it. Open the monk's door swings. Yeah? Wow. Hey, look, guys. Huh? What's that weird looking house? Uh, what's that weird looking house always there? No, that's that shrine thing that the elder was talking about. So cool. Who knew Warbler's Nest was keeping a secret like that? Let's tell mom. <laughs> yeah, let's. See you later. Last one to mom is an unhatched egg. <laughs> Ready, set, go. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Vulota Shrine. Winding route. This is a long climb. Uh, okay. Okay. Now this is what I'm talking about with like having the shrine be something more. Um, 
Small key. Doors inside shrines. Um, instead of taking this, I'm gonna walk up this first. See what's up here. Um... Flame blade. Very nice. Inventory is full. Well... I'm gonna assume that there's not durability. We're gonna drop this one and grab this one. it wasn't like, oh, you have to be in open air. Just double pressing jump should be enough to open up the uh, glider, in my opinion. The long way around. Okay, get ready for blooping time. Three, two, one, and... Boop. Boopin' time. The resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Ba -ba -ba -ba. May the goddess smile upon you. Um, okay, let's take a look for this Korok real quick. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be a rock, like, up on top of this or something. That's a weird mark. Uh, anyways... Mmm, no rocks, really. Uh, that's gonna have some valuables. I hope it doesn't blast away too far. Nope. No. Okay. I'm going down. <laughs> Dragonbone Mire. Hello, butterfly. Nah, it's fine, dogs. I'm just gonna go up here. I'm assuming it's going to be across this rock bridge here. Let's go up. That's just a weird looking top of the tree. Um. Oh! Moose! Hmm. There's the rock. We set this right here. <laughs> yeah, ha, you found me. Bye bye. Okay, so we are going to remove this stamp. 
Because we have the Korok marked now. Okay. Um... What should we do? Maybe I turn on Sheikah Sensor for Shrine? Uh, maybe we work back here? Uh, here, I should put this note so I forget it in a, uh, or remember it for another day. Breath of Wild, uh, Shrine Star on Tree is for Shrine Quest. Uh, White Bird Northwest of that tree. Okay. Ah! When I told the village elder uh, that the shrine popped out of the ground, he was so surprised. I guess shrines like uh, playing hide and seek too. <laughs> yeah. frames. I almost jumped on your back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ugh. I'm gonna complain about it each time, but... Ugh. Oh. Okay, this island, it doesn't know how to navigate properly. good time was kicking up a storm just a while ago but he's calmed down now hmm do you need something how are you how am i can't complain i suppose never mind that please listen to this i was out on a walk earlier and i saw a frost talus a giant monster made of enchanted ice i was out running an errand when i saw it it was incredible and terrifying it was incredibly terrifying i believe i saw it over in cold snap hollow before my adrenaline kicked in and i fled like the wind in any case, it was enormous, but I bet a champion could take it down no problem. Face the Frost Towers. That sounds interesting. Um. Up there. Okay. Uh, sorry. Ooh, spicy peppers. I need to get that on the camera. Safe. this way and then yeah I think taking this road over this way will be good I wonder what that vertical pillar is beetle 
Hey there. You made it all the way here? You're almost as crazy as Beetle. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? What have you got? Um, arrow bundles. Bye. Um, move more quietly. Resist the cold. Um, maybe I might take the, the three of these. This is 60. Uh, I can take two more. Uh, look at what I've got. Um, I have a lot of luminous rock. Maybe I give you like 10 of it? And then maybe like 10 of this as well. Like I don't want to give too much because of like potential upgrades and like there's certain things where you need to trade rupees and materials. So just trying to be careful with it, you know. Um, let's do like 25 of these. Um, let's do like 10 of these. I'm kind of cap, like the soft capping these at 25. Nope. That's too bad. I'll buy anything. Nope. Yeah, four. Whatever. Mm, I'm gonna keep the ancient materials, and I want to keep the Moldoga fins. Okay. Goodbye. Shrine nearby. Okay. So, up on this cliff top, it seems like. Oh, that's the beam. It's not like a tower thing. Cold. Um... Let's have one of these. Um, excuse me, I need to do this. Okay. Uh, let's hop off and take a quick pin, just so I know where I'm going. Or I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going anyways. Bantha Village Ruins. 
Interesting. Hebra Tower. Whatever puzzle was supposed to be there, I just brute force past it. <laughs> Ooh, I see a shrine. Scanning area, distilling information. Regional map extracted. That's pretty good coverage. Pretty good area. Okay. Um. Um, I should quickly have another one of these. Uh, change to this type of stamp. There's a horse stable next to it, so that's probably a place I should be going to. Um, there. Which, change this to a stamp. Um, is that another horse? Yeah, that's another horse place there. Um... Yeah. Okay. Nope. Don't like to venture out on days like this. With the snow swirling like that, you're you're bound to get lost. All the same, I can't sit here on my duff when, uh, with people waiting for my mushrooms. Would you like to browse my selection of specialty mushrooms? Show me your goods. Endura mushrooms. Iron shrooms are really good. Um, I'll grab those. Hardy truffle. Big hardy truffle. Um, we'll grab the truffles here and the big hearty truffle as well. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, actually, do you... Yeah, never mind. It's not a big deal. I'm walking in the direction of a shrine. Maybe, supposedly?
It's down here? Oh, yep, I see it there. Um, uh, I'm assuming it's this? No. Is it this? No. Um, okay. I'm just going to have to mark this on the map and be like, hey. Have to come back to this later. <laughs> Um, okay. charge up again It's really cold in this region. Um, I should probably be getting some sort of better cold resistance stuff. Um, hi there. the Eagle Clan's coming out again. That's a bit weird. Yeah, I'm gonna take some damage, but... There's not much I can do about it right now. Some sort of rhino-like thing. Interesting. Field stable. Okay. I appreciate that it's like one thing that <laughs> gives you the, the heat resistance. Here's some spicy peppers. There, there's the Goron spice as well, but I'm imagining, um, like, it, it, it feels like it would probably be related to the, the peppers. Three spicy peppers over there. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, double cold resist. Mm -hmm. 
So I could wear normal armor with it. Um, let's go ahead and eat the... This one? There we go. Just get some meat stuff going. Full of heating items. It's not like everything, but should be good enough. Rin Oya Shrine. Boom, 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 boom. Down we go. Directing the wind. So there is Bol. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, this is a cool puzzle. This is a cool puzzle. Um... Maybe I should be pulling these like a little bit over to the this way. Something like that. Okay. Um Yes, we grab this. No. Ah. Really rip <laughs> Wish you could run with these things. Okay, so. Uh oh. <laughs> You know, I'll have to do the same for the other one, but I just want to make sure that this works, you know? Oh, it worked. Cool. So 
Ta-da! Directing the wind. This one might not be needed at all. No, it definitely is. Hmm. How do I get that chest? Can I climb these? No. Okay. So I'm glad I didn't try that. Interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> it takes so long to get around. I might be able to just forgo one of the ramps. That's what I'm going to assume. Ah. Okay. This is now going up there. If this isn't enough to cross, then what I'm going to assume is I need to drop it from, like, over there. And then I need both metal boxes. No! <sighs> okay, that, that one's my bad. That, that one's my bad. Um, but also, I'm going to make the assumption, right? So, you... Just make your way to, like, there. You... Make your way to, like, there. Okay. Please, 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 please. Ooh. That took all of my stamina. If I hadn't the, the number of stamina upgrades I do now, it would not have worked. <laughs> so you could probably do this with just one metal box, but I was also able to do it with two metal boxes. It doesn't look like there's anything more over there. I almost fell again. Okay. Okay. Boop in time. Three, two, one, and 
Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. I need a hero. Spirit orb. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm, big stretch. Yeah. Eat. Oh. Oh man, do professional professional shield surfers surf on these these Oh my goodness. I'm going to start this one over. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh man, do professional shield surfers surf on days like this? If I wiped out, I'd break my neck. Bogus, dude. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. My my brain exploded. Beetle, are you doing okay there? Yeah, we meet again. Didn't really dress for the weather here, but the world needs Beetle's goods. Um, always take this. Summer wing butterfly. I'll take them all. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, the dog! Look at the dog go! You got your tail. <laughs> uh, firewood. You have firewood over here. Beetle, I feel so sorry for you, but you should have dressed better for the weather. Um, let's make some warmth elixirs. So it's just some monster part. We get a lot of these. With the warm darner? I think that's right. Spicy elixir. Exploring snow-covered mountains, yeah. Okay, so let's do another warm darner. And this. Turned into a topical elixir that offers resistance to flames. Ooh. Okay, so this is what I need. Um, I'm going to hold and actually drop this on the ground. Oh, uh, no, no, come back. No. I didn't know it was actually alive. That means we're cooking the alive things. What the fuck? <laughs> well. Okay, then. <laughs> uh. I, I really was not expecting that. I, I, I am gobsmacked by that. Okay, so different things offer different amounts of time, which is interesting.
Okay. I'm gonna call that good for now. Mm, let's go to the labyrinth. Uh, maybe let's not go to the labyrinth right now. We can head up there. Nope, why did I jump off? We can head up to the labyrinth, but we won't be doing the labyrinth today. Uh, because we are already at the four hour mark. Oh my goodness. Raw whole bird. This prize meat can be obtained from certain birds. It gets full points for flavor, nutrition, and volume. It pairs perfectly with other ingredients or can be enjoyed alone. Cool. jumped over me. Ooh, a shrine. Human? Lie now. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. How tough is this one going to be? Fire choo choos. Shift and lock. Okay. Okay, okay, I see. Okay. Small key, cool. So pretty easy one, honestly. Bonk. Oh gosh, I wonder how we're gonna get to this one, you know? <laughs> Royal Broadsword. 
A Hyrulean royal family would award this sword to knights who achieved remarkable feats. A sword that balances strength and beauty as elegantly as this one is a rare find. Inventory is full. Um, let's get rid of this. Uh, nothing else over there. Okay. And... Whoop. A little bit late to the boopin'. Uh, your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Ba -ba 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 -ba. May the goddess smile upon you. Okay. Mm -mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to run over to the labyrinth, or ride the horse over to the labyrinth. Um, and then uh, when we arrive there, that's when we're going to be wrapping up stream for today. Yep. Uh, let's see. That's over this way. So yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the stream today. I had a lot of fun today. Um, we beat uh, Va uh, Medoa. Va Medoa. Uh, I think that's its name. Uh, we beat a divine beast today uh, in Rito Village. Um, and we're just exploring around it, you know? I think we're having a good time. Uh, I think next time I'll be ready to go for the Goron stuff. Um, I didn't know of the fire potions, and we'll, we'll just be making some fire potions, you know? And, and that'll put us in a good place. Another Lino? Um, horse, please. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. North Lomai Labyrinth. You have reached this point. Proceed onwards through the maze and you will receive a blessing as reward. Can I climb these walls? I can. I might be able to cheese this one then. Okay. Ow. Oh, nope. Let this finish charging up. One, two, three, four. Labyrinths are sometimes cheesable. Yeah, only just got up here. <laughs> but it looks like you're supposed to, anyways. Because of the diamond. Okay. But also, Cloudy, hello there. 
Um, I'm guessing I drop down there. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, cold resistance. Um... Didn't tune it in at the end today. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm actually nine minutes over. <laughs> Come on. game oh. okay I'm having some real frame issues today I don't know if like the positioning of my switch is causing for it to overheat or something but yeah uh... <laughs> I'm kind of looking to see if, like, I can cheese my way in, but, like, I'm not even finding, like, ooh, 300 rupees. Uh, I'm not even finding, like, the way in, you know? Maybe. Okay, if we look at the map, there's sort of a, this shape here and this shape here. I wonder if it's, like, an underground entrance. Um... Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's drink this and switch to my climbing clothes. Yeah. Maybe starting ADHD meds within the next week. Hey, congrats. Happy for you. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I cheesed that so hard. Okay. I'll be a little more patient. Three, four. Leave it at that. It'll be weird, weird if they work. Yeah. choo-choo's there. No! Oh, no! Oh, well. I'm down here now. Oh, shit. Um, food? Another one. Okay. Uh, over here. Nope, just a chest. Okay. Night shield. Um, I'm probably going to drop the current shield I have. Oh, or actually, no. I'm going to drop this one. Uh, 
Okay, yep, here we go. Hella cheese on this shrine. Okay, we're getting this shrine and then we're we're definitely wrapping up. <laughs> like I'm sure there's a lot of good stuff in the labyrinth, but also I'm just not interested in going around the labyrinth. <laughs> Okay, what's this? Barbarian leg wraps. Yeah. Traditional markings that bolster your fighting spirit to raise your attack power. Nice. And... Whoop. You have done well to arrive at the shrine. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. And four. Nice. So we'll be able to get another upgrade. May the goddess smile upon you. Yeah. We'll climb up, meet up with Muffin, and that's end of the stream. I, I keep pushing off. I, I really like Breath of the Wild. I have some some complaints with Breath of the Wild. Like, the, the way that Breath of the Wild has always been, like, explained is like, oh, it's this flawless masterpiece. I have some complaints with it, but it is a really good game. It's a really, really good game. Uh, I'm going to switch my outfit so I don't forget this later. Okay. And yeah. Um, with that, I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did and you're not already subscribed, make sure to do so. Um, I released a Super Auto Pets video today. Uh, normally I release those on Friday. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy that video. I hope you'll enjoy anything in the stream archive. And I hope to see you in future streams. The next one being on Monday. So yeah. Uh, take care, friends. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Take care, Cloudy. <laughs>